Becky D. Ray with KLBK's first warning weather. What a fantastic Monday we have seen all across the South Plains this morning. Didn't see too much in the way of cloud cover, but clouds did begin to push across the region. Take a look at today in review. I absolutely love being able to show you what happened all day because a lot of us, especially myself, I don't have windows where I work, so it's kind of cool to get to see what happened outdoors. I see it all on the computer screen, but kind of need to see it in review. We did see a few popcorn clouds later on in the afternoon, but across the board, just some high level clouds in the South Plains, and this is going to be the trend over the next several days, but that's not the trend everywhere. So if you are headed over, say into New Mexico, you will be dealing with quite a bit of monsoonal flow. Not only are we seeing some moisture being pumped in from the Pacific, but also the Gulf, and that is allowing for quite a bit of rainfall over in Albuquerque and even into Rio Dosa as we go further into the next several days. I know it sounds like a, re a repeat of what we've dealt with last month, but again, it is a little bit of a wet season for New Mexico, so they're beginning to see quite a bit of rainfall. As far as we're concerned, we're not seeing too much in the way of rain, but we're getting downright hot. Temperatures coming in 90 degrees in the hub, 95 in San Antonio. But remember, they are dealing with more so humidity than we are here across the South Plains. Not saying we don't have any, but it is quite a bit less. Now, in your backyard, we're quite a bit warmer than we were just two days ago. We're looking at 87 degrees in Toya. Check out what's going on in Brownfield. 88 degrees, 88 also in Denver City. Then we've got 90 coming in at Hobbs. We are seeing a mixture of the upper 80s to lower 90s across the board, but we are all going to continue to stair step and warm up as we head into the next several days. Now, winds, they're not so shabby, are they? We're talking about wind speeds. We do have a few spots right around 15 miles per hour, but definitely not your West Texas wind that we normally deal with this time of year. So winds are slightly lower. They're going to stay low again tomorrow, but of course they've got to come back. By Wednesday, the West Texas breeze will return. And so could a few isolated showers. Now, what we expect over the next several hours are those winds to try and stay right around 15 miles per hour or less, but the rainfall is going to stay over in New Mexico. We could see a few clouds trying to push their way through, but as far as moisture is concerned, that's really all we're going to be dealing with over the next several hours. We are going to have a lot of sunshine over the next several days, warming the temperatures up in the afternoon, but cooling us off each and every evening because since we will be dealing with light winds, clear skies, numbers will plummet into the 60s in the morning hours. Now, going further into Wednesday, we could see an isolated shower, especially to the northern zones, but that's really all we're anticipating right now. Of course, we'll continue to fine tune the forecast. We would love to see a cooling shower take place, but right now this is a few days out and it's really overestimating the rainfall that we could see, but that's not saying we won't see any at all. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated right here, not only on air, but also online. Now, over the next seven days, check this out. Tomorrow morning, temperatures will get down to 66 degrees for the low, 93 by the afternoon. Light winds continue, and definitely the warmer air continues. We're going to see the average temperature being popped up tomorrow, and then we head further into Wednesday and Thursday, where we could see a few isolated chances of those showers and goodness of all days, that's when we're going to need them because we will get close to that triple digit mark, especially as we push further into Thursday. Now, by Friday, numbers will get down to 95 degrees. And I say down to 95. At least it is a little cooler than it is going to be on Thursday. And then we will get right around above a little bit above average by early next week. But guys, this time last week, we were forecasting, you know, a lot of rainfall and of course temperatures. Mm -hmm in the 70s for highs. So this is quite a bit of an extreme yeah. for our body. So remember, don't forget about yourself, but also your pets, the elderly. Mm -hmm. Check on them, especially make sure their ACs are on and working. Very These temperatures, true. is this about where we should be? We in should August? be right at 93 degrees. So tomorrow is going to be an average day on the nose. Childress, your average temperature is 96 degrees. So we're going to be right around that range, but we will get above average and then getting right at average by end of the week. All right. Thanks so much, Nikki D. Makes Appreciate me look that. forward to fall. Yes, we're going to fall real fast. It's been a mild summer, guys. It really oh, that my mind. stars. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. But I like it, so I'd like to keep the mild uh, yeah, summer. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I would too, as long as possible. Just wait till winter. We'll be wishing it was summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Nikki D. <laughs> it's the truth. Coming up next on your